I've been driving around these weird poles for years, so I finally decided to find out what they are. It's called the Nashville Stick Sculpture. Designed by renowned public street artist Christian Moeller, the poles are made entirely of red cedar wood. The 70 foot tall art piece is made up of 27 of these wooden poles, which vary in tilt from 0 to 15 degrees. If you like these kind of artistic details about wood, have I got a video for you. Today I was invited to check out the Martin showroom here in downtown Nashville, and I realized something about these guitars that I've always known, but just would like to reiterate. When it comes to acoustic guitars, Guitars, these are the most consistent guitars across all models that I've ever played. I mean, it could be anywhere. Of course, the guitars will be great in a room full of curated selection of some of the best guitars Martin has to offer. But over the years, if my friend has a Martin, I pick it up, it's a great guitar. I'm not gonna name other brand names, but there are some high quality brands. It just doesn't happen that way. Sometimes the guitar's not for me. A Martin always seems to feel good in my hands. And this is coming from someone who doesn't own a Martin, and this video is not sponsored by Martin or anything like that. I just thought it was an observation that I haven't really said out loud before. I kind of love Martin guitars. Let's say I go into a guitar center, I'm looking around and I find a Martin. There's a good chance it's gonna be pretty sweet. Let's say I'm going to a local guitar shop. If a Martin is there, no matter what model, they always play great. So let's dive into some of the differences in the guitars that I got to play in this video. And I just have one question for you. Which one would you pick up off this wall first? And why is it this one? say these guitars are consistent, I mean that almost completely from a playability standpoint. I don't have to work hard for any of the notes more than I should on an acoustic guitar, which is inherently a bit tougher to play than an electric guitar, of course. But no matter what the wood type, neck radius, body style, or even the color, the tone these instruments provide is pretty inspiring. It's actually really fun watching this footage for me personally, hopefully for you too. It's just really interesting to hear the nuances of my playing be affected because of the type of guitar and all the ingredients baked in. Another aspect of the consistent nature of Martins is on display here as I stopped by the Nashville Guitar Center where, like clockwork, I immediately found a guitar that I couldn't afford. What this is basically is modeling after a pre-war D28 that used to use Brazilian rosewood. Yeah. They had like the old growth spruce at the time. This is, you know, new growth spruce, but it's old Brazilian rosewood. It's a brand new guitar. Wow. And that has that aged tone that everyone's looking at these kind of guitars once. So I didn't play the $50,000 guitar, but this one I did play a D18. This is probably my favorite Martin that I played. It's kind of a flagship model of Martin, I would say that one or the D28. I watch you on YouTube, you're awesome. Thanks dude making something right now actually. And it's funny, some guy browsed around in the store, recognized me from YouTube, and he ended up playing the guitar, I handed it to him. This is an awesome guitar, you should try it. What is that? Workhorse, I would say, of the line, D18. Is it a It's a Martin. Anyway, I left after that and I had an email in Guitar Super System where he can get in touch with me on the website. He bought the guitar, so uh, nice one, Robert. I'm glad I could help facilitate your guitar journey that much further. I mean, I say it here in the store, my first reaction when I pick up the guitar, the awesomeness is immediately obvious. It's immediately awesome. Yeah. But you know what else was awesome? This little Martin, it groons. <laughs> chord progression.
session that you would love to listen to over and over as we compare these beautiful Martin guitars. Check it out. Keen observers will notice that two of the models in this video were identical, save for the back and side wood types of koa and rosewood. Tell me, Tonewood aficionados, can you tell a difference between these two guitars? <laughs> But in all seriousness, these two guitars were really awesome, being the largest body type in Martin's lineup. I felt that each guitar really brought something different, but all were consistently good from my perspective as a player. These guitars don't look too shabby either. I think the Inception model stole the show. I mean, look at this walnut accent on the maple back. Just glorious. And the inside of this guitar it looks like a honeycomb. That's pretty cool. <laughs> The question is, do any of these shred? All in all, it's just cool seeing the production quality of a company that's been around for centuries still at the top of the game. I like learning the histories of different guitar companies and I know how hard it is to succeed over decades, let alone hundreds of years. So it's really cool to be involved in this small way with Martin, get and see these cream of the crop guitars. Maybe I should email Robert back and see if he might be willing to negotiate about that D18 though. I really did like that guitar. The one that got away. Dang it. Until next time, keep shredding.